Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful piggy bank, which looks like a three layer cake. So here on top, you can put the coins like this and you can also drop in cash like this. So first let's see what are all the things that we need to make this beautiful piggy bank. So I have taken 4 ply acrylic yarn fingering weight yarn in this lavender, green, yellow and white color for this project. And crochet hook for this project I have taken it in two sizes. So this is a 3 millimeter crochet hook. So I have also taken a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project. So you will need them both. So now let's see the measurement of this one. So from top to bottom, this piggy bank measures about 4 inches. You can see, measures around 4 inches, a little lesser than 4 inches, which is about 10 centimeter. So that's the measurement for this piggy bank. And I have also taken this bottom layer of a plastic drinking water bottle, which I'll show you later in this video. So now let's make this beautiful piggy bank. So let's get started. So this is the bottle which I have taken. So it's a drinking water bottle, one liter. So I'm going to cut this base portion of this water bottle. So I have cut this one. So now let's make our piggy bank. First I have taken the lavender yarn and 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. So make a magic circle and chain 3. So 1, 2, 3. So this chain 3 counts as a du double crochet. Then work 11 double crochet into the magic circle. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 12 double crochets here including the first chain 3. I am going to pull this yarn tail and close the magic circle like this. Then I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. So on top of the first chain 3 here I am going to make a slip stitch and finish this round. So that's our first round. So for the next round we are going to chain 3 which again counts as a double crochet. Then work another double crochet into the same stitch. So that's the increase. So like this we will increase into every stitch. So work one double crochet into the next stitch. Then again another double crochet into the same stitch. Then again increase in the next stitch, work one double crochet, then another double crochet into the same stitch. Again increase in the next stitch, one double crochet, then another double crochet into the same stitch. So like this we are going to repeat and finish this round. So here I am at the end of this round. I have increased in the last stitch and I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 and finish this round like this. So next round chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then increase in the next stitch. So work 2 double crochets into the next stitch 1 and 2 in the same stitch. So 1 and then increase. Then next we are going to make this opening in this round. So for that I am going to chain 9. 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 chains then yarn over I am going to skip 6 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and into the 7th stitch work a double crochet. Work double crochet. So that's the opening for a piggy bank then increase into the next stitch. 1 and 2 in the same stitch. Then work 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Then increase in the next stitch that is 1 and 2 double crochet into the same stitch. Then work 1 double crochet into the next stitch and increase in the next one. This 1 and 2 double crochet into the same stitch. So like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round. So here I have finished this round. So for the next round we are going to chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then work 1 double crochet into the next stitch. Then increase into the third stitch. So 1 and 2 in the same stitch. So we have 2 double crochets and an increase. So like this we are going to repeat. So we are going to work on top of each chain like a stitch. So 1 double crochet into the next 2 chains. So insert your hook in the chain and work 1 double crochet then double crochet in the next chain then we will increase into the next chain. So 1 and 2 double crochets into the same chain then we will work 1 double crochets into the next 2 chains. So 1, 2, then increase into the next chain. So 1 and 2 double crochets into the same chain. Again work 1 double crochet into the next 2 chains. 1, then 2. Then increase in the last chain. 1 and 2 into the same chain. Then we are going to work 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitch. Then increase in the 3rd stitch. 1 and 2. So like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round. So here I have finished this round. So for the next round chain 1 and single crochet into the same stitch. Then work 1 single crochet into the next three, next 2 stitches. So 1, 2. So we have 3 single crochets and into the 4th stitch we are going to increase. That is work 2 single crochets into the same stitch. Then again work 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches. 1, 2, 3 and increase in the 4th stitch. 1 and 2 in the same stitch. Again work 3 single crochets. 1, 2, 3. Then increase in the 4th stitch 1 and 2 in the same stitch. So like this we are going to repeat and finish this round. So here I am near the end of this round. I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that we made. So slip stitch and finish the round. So next we are going to work the side for the piggy bank. So this is the top part. Then for the sides chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then work double crochet into the back loop of every stitch. So here is the next stitch and here is our back loop. So insert your hook in the center 
and in this back loop we are going to work double crochet so work one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch so double crochet into the back loop of every stitch in this round so we are working one double crochet into every stitch we are not increasing so work into the back loop of every stitch like this meet you here at this end so here i have finished this round so for the next round chain 3 which counts as a double crochet and work one double crochet into every stitch so here we are using both the loops so work one double crochet into every stitch of this round so keep working one double crochet into every stitch till the end of this round so i'm going to finish this round i'm going to make one more round of double crochet exactly like this so here i have finished three rows of double crochets they have cut off the yarn now for the next round i'm going to join this green color into the back loop so here i'm going to join in the back loop so pull the yarn through the back loop then chain 3 then chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then we are going to work one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch and we are also going to bring the yarn tail along our stitch so just hold them behind our double crochet so that it will be secure so work double crochet into the back loop of every stitch in this round so continue making one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch so one double crochet in the back loop of every stitch of this round so like this we will continue and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round for the next round chain 3 then we are going to work one double crochet into every stitch of this round so just work one double crochet into every stitch So like this continue working one double crochet into every stitch and finish this round and I'm going to make one more round of double crochet. So here I have finished three rounds of green then for the next round I'm going to attach the yellow yarn into the back loop of this stitch. So here I'm going to attach the yellow yarn. So pull the yarn to the front and bring the yarn tail along then chain 3 which counts as a double crochet and we are going to work one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch so work one double crochet in the back loop of every stitch of the round so insert your hook through the center and make a double crochet in the back loop only like this continue making double crochets one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch so like this i'm going to continue and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round for the next round chain 3 1 2 3 and then work one double crochet into every stitch so 
so work one double crochet into every stitch of this round continue making one double crochets into every stitch like this so like this we will continue and finish this round and I'm going to make two more rounds using the same pattern I'm going to finish four rounds of yellow so here I have finished four rounds of this yellow and I have cut off the yarn so here I have taken white yarn and I have changed to a three millimeter crochet hook so I have taken cotton yarn in white which is a slightly thicker yarn and I'm going to go into the front loop at the last row I'm going to join this yarn in here so you can see it is a slightly thicker yarn you can use any yarn so chain one and we are going to work two single crochets in this front loop one and two into the same loop so like this we will continue so work two single crochets into the front loop of the next stitch so one and two and go into the front loop and work two single crochets one and two then again repeat the same work two single crochets into the front loop of every stitch so this white layer is for the frosting of the cake frosting between the layers so just work two single crochet into the front loop of every stitch so like this we will continue i'll meet you here at this end So here I am near the end of this round you can see now I have made last increase now I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that we made. So just make a slip stitch chain one and I am going to cut off the yarn. So that's a layer of frosting near the base then we are going to repeat the same into these two rows of front loop so here front loop and here also in this lavender front loop we will repeat the same pattern of this white yarn so here we are going to join the white yarn again so just fold this like this so it will be convenient to work then chain one and work two single crochets into every front loop so one two then again into the next loop work two single crochets one and two then again two single crochets into the next front loop one and two then again two single crochet one and two then two single crochets into the next front loop and we will continue this same pattern in this round so like this we are going to repeat and finish this round in here so i will finish this round and i'm also going to use the same pattern into this front loop between this lavender and green so here I have finished the three rounds of frosting so next we are going to make this on the top so here you can see a set of front loops that we left on the sides so I'm going to attach the white yarn again the same white yarn on the top using the three millimeter hook so pull the yarn through and we will 
chain one and we are going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch so just fold the work and into the next stitch insert your hook and make a slip stitch so like this make slip stitch into every loop so work one slip stitch into the each loop like this so just continue making slip stitch into every loop so just fold the work as you go so it will be easier So make slip stitch into every front loop. So like this we will continue. I will meet you here at this end. So here I am at the end of this round. I am going to chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Then pull the yarn through. Now let's thread this yarn tail into the tapestry needle. Then I'm going to pass this through the first chain one that we made through the center. So here through the center of the first chain one I'm going to pass it to the back. So pull the yarn the back like this and we are going to secure this at the back. So I'm just going to make a couple of knots in here. So pass it through some stitch and make a knot. So I'm going to make another knot. And I'm going to pass this through some stitches. So just pass this through some stitches. Pull the yarn tail and we will cut off this excess yarn tail here. So this end gets secure. So likewise we are also going to hide this yarn tail. So next I am going to make this cherry on top of the cake. For that I have used a red color yarn. So cut a piece of yarn like this. Then start winding the yarn around your two fingers. Like this. make about 15 to 20 turns then cut off it like this then pull this off your finger so we are just making a pom pom which we make for our hats and all so place it on this thread and we are going to tie at the center So tie this, make a knot and I am going to make another knot to make it secure. And then hold these two ends and we are going to cut all these loops on both the sides. So cut all the loops also on the other side. So I have cut all the loops now just make it even like this and we are going to cut all the excess yarns and give it a nice shape you can also comb your pom pom like this so the yarns will get even and it will look good and so I'm going to cut it to the desired size so I'm going to make a small pom pom only. So cut off the, so reduce the length of the yarn like this. So this is done. So just looks like a cherry. So thread both the tails into a tapestry needle and we will fix this in our cake. So take the and insert the needle through the top 
and pull it to the inside. Take it to the inside like this, then take off the needle. So place your cherry correctly. Then we will make knots. So I'm going to make a couple of knots here. And then we will hide these yarn tails like this in the same way. So we have fixed the cherry on top. Now I'm going to fix this top layer on the base of the water bottle that we have cut like this. And this forms a nice piggy bank. So our cute piggy bank is now ready. You can make this for your kids. They will love it. So do make them and let me know in the comment below. So I hope you guys like this video tutorial. So hit the like button, leave a comment below, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also hit the bell icon so you will get all the notification for my new videos. Thanks for watching this video guys. Bye bye.